Hello everybody, this is Joseph and welcome to another QML tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to continue on our flickable path and we're going to uh, make this player maybe move around. Um, so let's just uh, run what we have right now so we can see what it is. And we have right now is a flickable scene that we can flick and we have this little guy right here which is another image in itself. So. Let's get started up here. Let's set the focus to the uh, main. Let's actually add an ID. Let's set the focus to be true. And let's use let's use something called keys. And we do on pressed. Oops. I'm on pressed. We're going to put some curly brackets around this because this is going to be pretty big. Now, what does keys on press do? Um, if you look it up in the help menu, you can see that it says uh, right there that it's a handler. So when key has been pressed, the event parameter provides information about the event. Okay? So the event parameter. Okay? So, how to use this? We do start out with an if statement. We say if event dot key is equal to qt, and for this we'll just do to qt. Uh, what is it? Keys. QT key up. Okay. We want to first tell the event that it's acceptable. So event dot acceptable. Okay. And we'll set that to be equal to true. Alright. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say player uh, dot y is equal okay to what it is already so player dot y and we're going to say but plus <clears throat> actually we would want to say minus because we're going up minus we'll say 60 okay and as long as I typed everything right, I don't know if acceptable is spelled right, but we're going to run this and see if we can move that player. QT key up. Acceptable is not spelled right, is it? Um, so, accepted. Even accepted, true. Okay, let's try that again. And there he goes, up, up, and away. Um, so, we would want to do this for our up, down, left, and right keys. So, to do this, we would just simply add more if statements. Lucky for us, I have already wrote that. And we can just copy this little guy right here. I'm just going to paste this. There we go. So, let's run this again. Do 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 do. Pressing the right key, pressing the left key, pressing the down key, pressing the up key. And there he goes. And he's still down where he is, right? And we can still move him around, but we have to use the mouse to flick. Um, and yeah, that's not very fun. Um, so what we can do is in our flickable area, we can watch the Y. So we can take the content Y, right? Um, and do some math. Uh, lucky for us, I have already done the math. And here it is. So I'm saying at a minimum, I want the content height minus 
the height, right? And then for the max, we want to set the at zero and player dot y minus height divided by two. And that will hopefully do what it's supposed to do. Do do. And now we've got him following or not following on the x. Okay. But we are following on the y now. Touchdown. Um, so, if I wanted to do the X, I would just do the same thing, but I would change the height to be the width and the player Y to be, right here, the player Y, I would change that to be X, and height would be width, and then it would follow around that way. Anyways, that is keys on pressed. Now there's also keyboard navigation, which is used a lot in grids and stuff, which we will be getting into later on in other tutorials. But for now, touchdown. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, have a good one.